We see a lot of patients who have come to us because they're at the end of the line. Uh, they really have no other options and they're quite ill. Receiving a heart transplant is something that very few people have the advantage of receiving. And it's a gift not only of life, it's a gift of love, it's a gift of someone else's family. So I think one of the things that we impress upon patients is that this is a gift that they have to take care of. And this is a gift that we as caregivers significantly strive to make certain that goes well for them, goes well for their family. That's one of the reasons why the team that we have and the strategy that we put forth is key. The difficulty with heart transplant is that we have organ shortage and in the United States we do only about 3,000 heart transplants a year but the number of patients who need heart transplants are a lot more. So because of the, the long wait times, the average wait time is about a year to a year and a half, a lot of these patients will die on the wait list if we didn't have any other support for them. So LVADs have been developed to remedy this situation. LVAD is a left ventricular assist device. It is a small pump that gets implanted into the tip of the heart that allows the left ventricle to pump better. And it is implanted in two different strategies. The first is a bridge to transplant. These are patients who are transplant candidates, but for whatever reason, they can't wait for a transplant. Either they're too sick or their blood group and size or immune system is such that it's gonna take a long time to find a transplant for them. The other type of strategy we implant LVADs in is what's called a destination therapy. These are patients who, for whatever reason, are not transplant candidates. Once a device is fully implanted, there is a cable that comes out. We would bring the cable out from the abdomen area, and uh, that cable is then attached to a computer about the size of an iPhone. That computer will then also need power, so patients will wear two batteries, and the batteries are typically strapped to their shoulders, like suspenders, and the computer itself is worn uh, usually with a, either a fanny pack or inside a bag. I think we need to remember how sick these patients are. Patients who have end-stage heart failure typically have a one-year survival of less than 50%, and often less than that. The survival on LVADs now, the one-year survival is uh, greater than 90% for a lot of these patients. And uh, long-term, we've had patients who continue to live well on an LVAD for more than 10 years now. And so these devices have come a long ways to continue to get better. Within the next decade or two, we may see LVADs replace heart transplant as a treatment of choice for most patients who have heart failure. Uh, that would alleviate the fact that we just don't have enough organs to go around. One of the advantages of the Cleveland Clinic is just the sheer volume of surgeries that we perform here. We've had the luxury of having a very well-established and long uh, heart transplant program. The LVAD program similarly has had great success. Uh, this really puts us at the top in terms of volume across the country. The advantage of a place like Cleveland Clinic is the multidisciplinary team that we have. So we have a team of about 14 cardiologists and four surgeons that are involved in the heart failure program. In addition, we have a whole slew of other team members, nurses, nurse practitioners, a social worker, nutritionists, pharmacists, etc. And the whole team is working together for the patients. We get referred patients who are denied surgery at some other very high volume centers. We do have a very high acuity risk. Our patients are very sick. That gives an advantage to patients in the sense that they know they're being cared for by teams that have seen just about everything. The difference you see in patients before and after a heart transplant LVAD is one of the most gratifying experiences any human being can, uh, can experience. See them back after all these years and see how well they're doing. And we will do whatever it takes to accomplish that for every patient. It is a true gift, whether it be a transplant or an LVAD, because they're survivors. <laughs>